Dragon Head Express! Away! Waterfall! I got that with my camera! Did you see that, Cedric? Look at this picture, that's waterfall! Uh, yeah, it's impressive, I, I saw that. Waterfall! Oh, I need to take a picture of that ceiling fan. Oh, and that that brazier or whatever it's called. All right, listen up, Max. I'm listening. This is what I found out from Need. His story was pretty far fetched. It was 15 years ago. Something terrible happened in the world. Uh, what's happening to your voice, Cedric? What exactly happened? You don't need this letter to tell you that, do you, Mother? Listening to Cedric's story, at first I was surprised, but as I listened. I slowly started to understand exactly what it was that was happening around me. Fifteen years ago, the world was laid to waste, and all that remained was the town of Palm Brinks. Our enemy, the one who destroyed everything, was a mysterious ruler. His name? Emperor Griffin. We still don't know why he did this. Why he destroyed our world. <coughs> Dark Demon! The reason that he did not also destroy Palm Brinks was because of a stone he believed was hidden in our town. Yes, the stone I'm wearing right now. Griffin's henchman, Flotsam, threatened the mayor and made him search for the stone. And that's why, when he found out that I had it, he wanted to catch me so badly. The world laid to waste, the elusive overlord Emperor Griffin and the strange stone that everyone seemed to want. With this mysterious puzzle, my adventure began. Oh! What the? It came from outside! Max, that ladder there leads to the roof of the train. Go check it out. Gotcha! Go, child. Risk your life. I'm gonna sit in here safe and sound. And go no, go along, child. You're young and strong. Don't forget to save again. Yeah, six minutes only like pass, and you're saving again. What the fuck? It's nice that they have roof access. Wait, why do they have roof access? I mean, I guess they would, but it just seems like anyone could go up there. And it has an open door! Nice! Yeah! <laughs> Why do you even need a car, dude? You can fly! <laughs> I used the, every last bit of my magic trying to revive Linda. It's like he's stuck to my boot! Max! If we don't do something fast, we're in serious trouble! Time to fight, Max, son! Okay. Sounds like a good idea, but how? Here, use this. Terrorist warfare. So I throw this? Yep. You toss it, and I'll grab another one. Just keep tossing them. Uh, a little trivia. Uh, did you get those bombs from Claude back in Dark Cloud 1? I'm not so sure if this... Alright, I'll do it. Time to show them who's boss. On ATV, P-3000. Uh, you telling me how to pick up shit? I just did a boss when I had to pick up shit. Ah, missed. Hiya! I think I missed. I'm trying to get a delicate angle. Bro oh, bullshit! Play that 80s fucking. Oh no! There, I finally hit the bitch. Damn it! Come on, throw it, Cedric, come on! God damn it, I'm not doing so well. Remember I didn't have a problem doing this before. Come on, throw me another bomb before he shoots again. Come on. 
Yeah! No! I failed! Come on! Uh... At least get to see that death cutscene, right? It's no good, Max. She can't take anymore. Ah! Oh, what do we do? Oh, what do we do? Uh, the end. Oh! <laughs> I've never seen that. I don't think I ever remember seeing that. Oh well, that was worth it. <laughs> It does, it does, still does not top the skeleton slitting Tone's throat, but that was pretty fucking awesome, <laughs> still. Oh, come on, take it up. Fucking guy immediately did the jump. Bullshit! He's being a little turd. Oh yeah, of course. Finally, jeez. It only takes three bombs and I keep failing the throw. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> Pussy! I knew he was gonna do that. I was hoping to get him before it. Would have got him though. Since he was in mid jump animation. What? What was that? You clown! Hiya! There we go. Fuck. Those last two were bullshit. Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit. Uh. I'm just. I'm, I'm trying to drive, sir. Please do not talk over my shoulder. Be a backseat driver. In this case, a backseat minigunner. Oh no! He's a clown terrorist! Wait, what's with the terrorist talk this in this let's play? Max. He's gonna blow himself up along with this whole train! What? He's doing it Al-Qaeda style! <laughs> Lob another one of those bombs at me! Come on now! Do it! Oh no. Hey, mister! Hmm? Don't you ever give up! You're starting to look pretty pathetic! What's this? Another little brat? Oh, I see. He's standing so funny. You want to die too? <laughs> sure, why not? It looks so weird right now. Like, look at him in the background. It just looks so weird. Let's go, punk! It's time to burn! Uh. Magic! Whoa! Ooh. Wasn't quick enough. It's you! How did you? Well, you can't get any more dead than that. I saw her blade go through him. <laughs> she punts him and douses him in flames. He's dead. <laughs> His eyes didn't even get a chance to close. Wow, I just so witnessed someone murder someone Monica. in cold blood. Oh, you met Monica, yeah, sorry. Even though it was the first time we'd met, I felt like I'd known her for a long time. Eventually, in the middle of the forest, the train couldn't go any further. Okay. Because... Enlighten me. Rocks! Damn it! Rocks! I should have known. <laughs> nice little hop, old dude. I like to wear my hat backwards. Ah, uh, stop by our rock. Gonna take some work to move that one. That's fine with me. I've got things to do here. This place is the spirit forest, Sindane. But it's different than in my time. Huh? Monica came from the future. Future. And I'm already been flying. This time to do something very important. That's what she told me. 
Why is there big delays? Normally, you wouldn't believe time travel was possible. It's crazy, but this was only the beginning of our unbelievable adventure. Ah, bah, 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 bah. What's she the saying? I want to hear what she's saying. We're still ahead of us. If we could restore the Great Elder's origin point. Oh, I have. I can press shit now. He could tell us who Griffin really is. The origin point. Oh, explain it to me. Yes, an origin point is where something begins. Should the fairy king be explaining this to me? Like a flower, you first have to plant the seed in the soil before it will bloom. Magic cool. In that case, the action of planting the seed is the origin point of the flower. What does this have to do with anything about restoring anything? It's a flower. How does this have to do with society? In that way, the flower is the history that springs from the origin point. I'm just saying, I could explain it better. In the same way, all things that happen in the future have their origin point in the past. But if that origin point is changed, the results can be terrible. And that's what Griffin has done. Griffin has sent his henchmen to this time, altering the origin points of my time. And now he is rewriting history as he sees fit. In my time, this forest was where the Elder of the Spirits, Jurak, lived. He was very wise and powerful. His great power purified the forest and gave vitality to all the living things in it. But Griffin erased Jurak from existence. And not only Jurak, all those with the power to challenge Griffin are being erased from existence too. I don't think he'll stop until he's wiped out the entire world. So, someone has to stop him. Someone? Who's that gonna be? Even now, my comrades are fighting Griffin in the future. And Max, I need you to help us. I need a rich little child with tools to help me. Huh? Me? Yes, you have to. Why do I have to? Uh... <laughs> Why? Okay, I'll do it. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna come along in this very risky and life life uh threatening quest okay sure no problem all oh, right i knew you would <laughs> yes, we're a team now right you should be squeaming right now <laughs> yes we're team <laughs> team hey <laughs> you said team <laughs>